This is Hans Forschner with Napkin Engineering, a, another short video in terms of formal editor in the source library. This is uh, discussing uh, how to uh, change the overall level and uh, change the level uh, with changing distance in terms of a line source input that could be um, applicable for line sources such as uh, pipelines or conveyor belts or sources like uh, race cars or yeah, motorcycle courses or ATV courses. And um, so I'll open up the uh, geodatabase and here we have uh, a line source uh, actually in two sections. In the very first section we have an acceleration from zero kilometers per hour or meters per second to 30 meters per second and then a second section where we have a constant speed. So let me open up the first one. So here we have a um, input uh, source acceleration. I open up the library and here we have a source acceleration. In this case we have the source with a specific spectrum. So we have a spectrum assigned to this and what we are doing, we are changing the sum using a formula. So the summation of the spectrum, the sum power of that spectrum is changing with the formula. So here we're going to the formula. The formula in this case, let me zoom in. So in this case we have a formula where we have a beginning speed a ending speed. We have uh, predefined variables, the length of the line source, the distance uh, from the beginning of the line source, distance to the end of the line source. In this case we only use d underscore s and the length. So here the formula is the, the speed at a given distance is equal to the beginning speed plus the total the length from the beginning times the ending speed minus the beginning speed divided by the total length of the line source. So with this we have a linear increase in terms of the line source speed uh, or the source on that line source or a linear increase in speed. So we're starting at a certain a speed and go to a certain end speed. And then down here we have the variable where the software calculates the power level based on a 30 times the log of the speed plus a constant value of 52. So this of course can be more elaborate in terms of the formula so this is a relatively simple. So this is the definition for the accelerated source and here we have also a constant speed source and here we're basically just defining a speed and with that speed, that speed is the beginning and end speed, and then here again the same formula. All right, so let's look at the uh, source input. So we, are, we have source acceleration. So this is the element that we're using. We have our source geometry defined, and then on the formula, all we do is we define a beginning speed, in this case zero, and the end speed of 30 meters per second. And here, of course, you can change it to whatever you want. You can start with a 10 meter per second speed and ending at 30 meters per second. So this will be uh, the way it's calculating it from the beginning to the end. Now the second section of that line source, that's right here. Uh, we are using a, a fixed speed. So again, we are using the same source constant speed. And in this case, it's 30 meters per second. And so we calculate for the rest of that line source at a specific speed interval. So it's going to, the, the whole thing will be calculated just as usual. And so let me look at the results. So this is the result of this calculation. So here we have the line source accelerating from 0 to 30 meters per second, somewhere right here. And then from here on you see the 
lines are parallel to the original line source, so it's not changing at all. This ends this video in terms of formulas, uh, some formulas, and there will be uh, a series of additional videos in terms of changing, uh, applying mitigation on a, a frequency basis. And um, yeah, thank you and uh, for listening, and bye for now.